Okay, guys, we're back on. <clears throat> so this is how <coughs> you get into it. And then you just fill in the blanks, which is E. Okay? How do we get there? Really? I can't. My mind is blank. How do you put a black file? It was Alt-T, right? No. R. Alt-R. 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 Do T-I. <laughs> oh. Got it? Yes. Got it, Carmen? Mm -hmm. All right. So you should be right here. So we're going to be on the same page now because we have the same, literally the same page, right? Slick? Yes. <laughs> we yell. Okay. So what did I tell y'all? And I, I don't really care about this right here. Okay, I don't, I don't really care about this right now. So what I'm gonna do is the day of the exam, I'm gonna have everything made up. So I'm gonna have you a title sheet, <laughs> everything and, and the information that's supposed to be on it. So let's just put 2014 dash, all caps, PA dash 00001, okay? So usually when it calls a number, it usually has five numbers. Okay? You press enter. Okay? I don't remember the child's name. What was the name of the child? Do y'all remember? Okay. Let's just say it was David Gomez. Now it comes to court. Okay? It's going to be in the 73rd, all caps. And then right down here is a, <coughs> a child, okay? And you see how it just keeps going? You don't have to push E anymore, it just keeps going. <coughs> and you just fill it in. Trial on the merits. Today is April. <clears throat> the day is the 20th. Watch what I'm doing. 20th, comma. All right? You see what I did? Enter. Now put the year. 2016. Enter. And you see how I did it right? You see how I put the comma in there? <laughs> you don't have to go back and do it. So now it's... When you come back in here... This is regular text down here. You're going to see that this is regular text, okay? This isn't part of the bigger stuff. So now you go back to uncap. So E, and it's 20 in, small, day of April 2016. <laughs> and then you come in here and just fill in the names, okay? And it was Mr. Now it's going to be all caps. Mr. Dale Hill. He is an attorney at law. And he already we already know that he's representing Child Protective Services. Yours is going to be set up different. This is the way that mine is. Okay? And this is the way we're going to set it up for the exam. So it's already set up right. So the person that I give you first is going to be representing Child Protective Services. Okay? So now it was... Who was it? No, she was the caseworker. Mr. Carl. <coughs> Go. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Carl Gomez. Mr. Carl Gomez. Enter. He is an attorney at law. <laughs> now, if they have a specific firm, then you put the firm in there or whatever they, they have whatnot, but I just put it there. So now this is where I made it different, and it's, did he, did he represent the child or children? He represented the child in this one. There was only one. And then there was a Mrs. Uh, Ann Smith. So the way that I was taught, and if you don't know for sure that they're married, you always use MS. Even if they are married, I still do it now. I still do MS. 
even if even if they are married I you know and it was a habit <clears throat> that I learned with the first firm that I went with so I do MS MS and Smith she does represent the mother so all you all you do is hit in it and now it's mr. Gerald Thompson now because usually in our cases there's usually more than one dad <clears throat> but for this case it was only one kid so now it's just father so it comes down to this kind of little quirky place you don't have to worry about this okay because this has something to do with the auto indexing which we didn't go over and it's way hard okay so now you come back here and it's the it's the hearing again okay so it's trial on the merits so now it comes to the date again now we're on the witness page <laughs> so on the witness page it says trial on the merits it's April all caps 2016 okay this is where it kind of gets a little quirky guys we're gonna put the witness as it was Christina here I don't put miss I, I never usually put miss De Leon. okay <laughs> and this is where I have to mess with it a little bit because depending on how long the person's name is that I need more room here and there you know <clears throat> so it's not that big of a deal so we're all gonna have to mess with it a little bit so what you do is press escape come up here give it one but come back on the cross one and it should line everything back up does it get on the direct right. space forward one get on the cross and back space one and it should line up again does it huh <laughs> up on direct back up back up yeah and I'll get on redirect or cross back up one back up one Get a redirect and back up one. Back up another. You don't recross. There we go. Just back it up. Where it lines up. It should have it should have lined up. It yeah. shouldn't have been that hard. You don't, you don't need it that far from the name. Back up direct. To where it's just yeah. Okay. And then back goes in. Okay. You just want the page right underneath the direct cross, reject, yeah. recross. Well, you need to put the witness's name in first and then kind of gauge it. I got name. behind after you. I was just That's watching right. you. So the witness's name is? Okay. And then you see what this is? Uh, Christina. We're going to go through the document. Or 
it on the same line. Okay. So you should be here, and then you just kind of fill it in. So we'll do it on the day of, you know, whatever. Okay? Exhibit marks. We're going to have that. <coughs> so come down to your testimony. And you should have had a page break there, but if it didn't page break, then we need a page break. Okay? Did you have anything? No, well, no. All of this stuff should be lighted up. But what? So now, uh, you want a new page? Get to the end of that document. <clears throat> I had I did another one because I had closed that one, out, so I just installed this one. Okay. Do you want me to get back to the end of this one? This yeah. One? Just get to the end. And I inserted that one. channel page at the bottom. You already did? Yeah, but it's at the you bottom. Yes, look. 
Oh. You're right there. So that's the end of your document, okay? Are you at the end of your document? Yeah, sorry, I was writing something to show her something. What is this? No, I was writing something to show her something where this tab setting for turning one on the plate for the speaker. Okay. That's, that's, go down, that's the new page. Page break. Okay. So we're going to take that page break out because what we have should have. have the new stuff. Okay, so let's just say you're at the end of that document right there. Okay? You're at the end of the document. <coughs> okay? We're right here at the end of the document. Now we want to put our certificate page in. So we do Alt R C E and it should say Cert Corp. Does it look like this? Yeah. Okay. What we're going to have to do, I'm going to show you how to read it in this time. What you're going to do is homework and write it down. Is you're going to have to go into this certificate page and wherever my name is, you need to put your name. Exactly the way that it is. Got it? Okay, so this time, just for this, select Cert Court. So it should look like that. Open, and it's going to put it in there. Got it? See how it looks? So where my name is, you need to go in there on your original one. You can do it on this one too. Okay. But on your original one, you need to go in there and change it and put your name. So that's like when we close out a document, we can do, I forget what the short, Control E? Control E? Shifty? Alt. Alt E. <laughs> and then we go into the document. Nine weeks of this. test if they ask you that question you can put that answer down <laughs> but most attorneys are probably going to kill you if you start your paragraph that far in on a third tab you know it should only be tabbed in five okay. yeah they're paying for it okay so yeah so put it on I or there yeah and just do E and then just put your name you're going to go in there and change your name. And then down there at the bottom, you need to make sure that everything lines up, okay? So where Bear County is needs to go over. And we can leave the corporate for now, right? Yeah, you can leave everything else the same. You're going to be down at the bottom. You have to change it again. So there's also a place just up top of that where the date is. No, further down. See where the date is? Wouldn't this my official signature on this date? And that one, and I don't know why, I need to go through and do it. I just, I've been kind of lazy on that. <laughs> but it should be a form field right here on the date. Is and that should be? Huh? Integrate a form field. Shifty. Shifty. So, you can do it like that. <laughs> so if you want to go in there and put a form field in there, you can. 
okay? And just put day, and then do shifty right here, month, delete that, and do a form field right there, shift E, year, and then delete those, delete those days, years, or whatever. <clears throat> what are you hitting to get that little uh, yellow window? Huh? What are you hitting to get the yellow window? Oh, that's after you've done the form. That's my prompt. I have that little pop-up prompt. Okay. Which was optional on the on the thing, so. Okay, yes, yes, yes. But by us doing it here, we're still gonna have to go back and do it on the actual block file, right? This isn't gonna change the rest. Yeah, it's not. You have to go back on the block file, which is what. Alt on. You have to go oh, into the right. blank into the blank page where it says Eclipse. Do Alt D, go into your block files, and then you have to choose the ones that you want to change, which is going to be your certificate page. So it's only going to change it for this document right here, okay? Again, this. and everything else should line up. <clears throat> but you need to go right here also and change this. Your name right here. And what this is, it's a uh, signature line. So now you don't have to sign anything. I mean, when you email it to them, it's an automatic signature line. <coughs> I don't know. I mean, that's how they do it now. And it has to be done this way in order for like the fourth court of appeals to take it. <laughs> it has to be done that way. And you can't file any paper stuff at the fourth court anymore. Everything is emailed. Everything is e-filed. Okay? So. I mean, what are the chances that somebody's going to, you know, use your... It's probably not. But, I don't know. Okay, but now I'm going to show you a few more little things and then we'll be done. So let's just say right here you got a little lazy and you forgot to put direct examination in. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. How do you bring up your block files? Alt R. Alt -R. DI, and right here it says direct. Not continue, but you want direct. Okay? Select direct, open, puts it in there. See? It's already centered, everything's good. <laughs> Got it? Carmen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Just Same that. thing with cross. Redirect, recross. Even, let's just say you were right here and something happened and you're doing something or whatever and the judge swore in the witness. Well, guess what? There's one for that too. How do you bring up the block file? R. Huh? Alt R. Ace. How do you bring it up? Really? Is it all R? <laughs> I'm getting confused with the shift E, the alt E. No? It's alt R. Alt R. Pay attention. This is very this is very important. Alt R brings up your block files. Write that down and highlight it. 
okay? And do S, W, and you're gonna select Quartz Warren. Now there's gonna be different, like when you take depositions on a sworn and whatever, but this is what mine looks like, whereupon the witness was sworn to tell the truth or whatever. <laughs> So go into Altar, and any of these things that are in here, you can put in that file by doing that. That's all you have to do is Altar. So you can do a closing statement, a covered, uh, I don't even know what a covered court is. Even in recess, exhibit objection, further recross. I don't do the further recross, I just do recross. <coughs> <coughs> examination. Yeah, uh, one even when the judge is leaving? I'm sorry? You've got their judge leave. So you also have No, to I don't leave. I don't do any of that. Mm -hmm. I don't. You Maybe know. At one point you <coughs> but off the record discussion, that's the off off. Okay? Uh, there's some other ones over here. Exhibit mark, exhibit withdrawn. Opening statement. Verdict. Title page. So any of these things you can put in there. Now the now the one things, the two things that you're really not gonna put in there, you can you can put any of these things in there. You could even do your title pages if you wanted to. I don't suggest you do it. I don't. Because you wouldn't put your title pages at the beginning of the, of the depot. You're just not going to do it, okay? You do that stuff later. But if you wanted to, you could put in a command where it would tell it to do that, okay? <laughs> what are those that you have there? That's, you have test cross, test discussion, test... Uh, I'm sorry. I need to see that. I don't know. Oh, it was a it was a test. I, I was making a file in another class, and I just named it as re -te uh, test recross test because we were just testing on making a new file. So they're they're nothing. <laughs> Got it? Okay. You remember how to do it where you put, like say you're gonna do the off-off. You haven't done the off-off yet. You remember what it was? Mm -hmm. What's the name of it? Um, What's the name of the special entry? The, um, paragraph, no, no, wait, I have to do it. I, I don't remember it off the top of my head. This one where, um, let's just, say, let's just say you did sworn sworn and you hadn't you hadn't defined it yet, but you have a block file for it. What is it? It's just the, the special entries. The, a, a, auto, auto include. Holy a. cow. The one time you were listening. <laughs> auto include. Okay? And when you do the auto include, now it brings up your block files. You see how it does that? It should automatically bring up your block files. And then you just choose whichever one you need. You go in there and you hit it, open, automatically puts it where it needs to be. You don't have to mess with anything. You press enter because you need it in your main, and that's all you do. <laughs> Got it? Okay. Ace. Select. Carmen? Yes. I just need a little more practice. I need to go home and go over it again. So I can think Zero excuse for next week. Okay. Got to get it done. Got to get it done, guys. Mess with this stuff. Okay? And when you're practicing, mess with it. 
Drav, you know, Drav, Drav. Boom, speaker, question, ready to go. Please state your name, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're gonna do an exhibit mark, mark, mark. See if it comes up. Put the information in there. Mess with this stuff, guys. Put the title page in there. Put the certificate page in there. So this way you know how to do it. You're already messing around with it. And you kind of got it. I have a question. Yeah. When, <laughs> for the most part, when people get out of school, you're going to be a freelance for Yeah. So if we don't have the black file, because this is like set up for you. Yeah. For your for board. You. Do they give us black yeah. files? They, the, yeah. Wherever we go. We'll yeah. Give us and they're gonna do it the same way. They're gonna put it on this thing, and you may have to call Eclipse again or call me, and I'll walk you through it again. And we'll change, and, he, and you saw how he changed it on yours, how you have two different sets of block files. So you have the old ones, and you have mine, okay? And if you ever need to, and, and let's say you, you do court. Well, you know what? Now you have court. So if you ever go take court, <laughs> you already have the court. <coughs> <coughs> the setup but if you go take a depot the next day then you have the depot set up and all you have to do is just change the block files or merge the block files into one big block file but you're gonna have to go through and name them um, deposition title court title deposition certificate court certificate whatever so I keep it in a separate file but that's just me okay any questions about what we covered tonight? Je guys, we covered a lot of stuff. We, 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 I don't want to say wasted time with Maury. That was good. That was good stuff. I'm glad we got that set up for both of you guys. <clears throat> and we all learned something tonight. So, any questions about the stuff we covered? I'm telling you guys, write this down. Write this down and have your mom, dad, husband, boyfriend, kids, and just say, hey, you know what? Point at this thing and just say something random stuff and then point at this thing and say something and point at this thing and say something. Practice this stuff, guys. I'm not just saying this for my health, okay? Don't come back next week and, oh man, I just, I didn't have time. Please don't do that, okay? Practice this stuff, it's important, okay? So when it comes to the exam, the exam is going to be easy. It's going to be really easy for you guys, and it's going to go quick. Okay? We have class next week. Okay? I'm going to get try. I'm going to try to get <coughs> five other people to show up, and we're going to have like a mock little thing that we're going to do. Okay? And if we do it and it goes well, then you guys may not have to show up that next week. That may be an optional, because what the next week is going to be is going over the exam, which is what we're gonna be doing anyway. This is what we're gonna be doing. So as long as you got it down, then you may not need to come. But won't you have your other class the following week since we're taking up next Yeah, week? we're gonna have both classes that week. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet with you know either you guys first and then them second or vice versa. It's not gonna be a very long class. It's gonna be really quick on going over preparation for the exam. Okay, so we're not gonna be here long. Even if even if y'all go second, it's gonna be probably 30, 45 minutes tops so we have for both classes. Three more classes. You have four. four. You have three. Next week, which is the class, the following week, which is the review, and then the following week, which is the exam. So I think we're gonna do the exam on Monday. And I'm, I'm gonna do it both, both classes on Monday. So it's gonna be kind of full or whatever. What happened? Why not Wednesday? <laughs> huh? Well, I mean, we can if you want to, but I mean, it's, it's just going to eliminate a day of having to come. If we can get everything done on Monday, wouldn't you want to be done Monday and just be done with it? I can't come on Monday. Okay. Well, then we're, we're going to do it on Monday for sure then. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Can we All right. get online?